Hi guys. This is Gaming with Dalston, and today we are on episode 147 of Pyramid City. And cannibalism is actually a lot more common than you think across the animal kingdom. It's not just humans killing and eating other. It's not just people killing and eating others. Why some people give up veganism? Because they have no other choice but to resort to cannibalism just to survive. If climate change gets bad enough, basically it'd have to it'd be kill or be killed. Basically, it's like kill or be killed. Song by Iron Savior. Kind of like the song called. Uh, kind of like the song sung by uh, the heavy metal, the power metal band Iron Savior. Now, I know cannibalism is kind of a taboo subject, but it is practiced throughout all of nature, <laughs> throughout the entire animal kingdom. Some animals practice cannibalism simply because there's no other source of food available. It's not just people eating people. It could be cows eating cows, even though cows are mostly herbivorous. And cannibalism is, is a me basically a method of last resort for survival <clears throat> if nothing else is available. And I know it's kind of a taboo subject. The main critique I have against cannibalism is not necessarily about desecration, but it's kind of part of it. One of the problems is that carcass you consume could put people at could put you at risk for something similar to CJD called Kuru. And cannibalism, even though it's kind of a taboo subject, I know I'm against... <clears throat> I know killing people is unethical. But sometimes, if food is really scarce, people don't have a choice. It's not that they're free to kill. It's that they have no other choice. Because they're trying to survive. Basically... A famine's one, a really bad famine's one of the scenarios in which killing is literally crucial for survival. Because if climate change goes unchecked, 
millions would have to resort to cannibalism. A lot of vegans would actually have to give up veganism as a result of resorting so they could... <clears throat> Under normal circumstances, I'm against giving up veganism once you start. Because of all the health benefits vegan diets have. But in a scenario in which there's no food, but there's other people who are facing similar fate, you have no choice but to kill. Same thing in the natural world. Even cattle have been... And it's not just humans ha that have been known to resort to cannibalism. I know it's kind of a taboo subject. One of the critiques I have against cannibalism is the potential for another mad cow outbreak. Like similar disease called Kuru. Amongst the Foray tribe in Papua New Guinea. It's one of the health concerns associated with cannibalism. <coughs> and Hannibal Lecter is one of the m most well known cannibals in literature. You know, it's not just housing crisis that can lead to homelessness. Famines can also lead to homelessness, too. And sometimes people would actually have to resort to living on the streets just to survive. And cannibalism is, uh, like, it's, even though it's kind of taboo in human culture, it's pretty common throughout nature. And capitalism simply goes against nature. one of only a handful of mammals that cannot go vegan. Some people, there are people out there who give up veganism not because they want to, but because they're in a survival situation in which food is really scarce. That's the only reason that people would be allowed to get, uh, should be, uh, be driven to incur, uh, to give up veganism. Cannibal and cannibalism is often talked about in some death metal songs. Especially songs sung by Cannibal Corpse, hence the name of the band.
The problem with the leather, with meat and leather industry, is how would you like it if someone hoisted you up in the air, slit your throat, and peel your skin off? You wouldn't like that. Animals who are being exploited for leather have to deal with, to have to go through this suffering on a day-to-day -day basis. The song Decency Defied by Cannibal Corpse describes it in pretty graphic detail. And the lyrics of the song. Like... That, sh uh, that song explains why you should not be buying leather. Or other animal skins. <clears throat> Always go for the fake leather and the fake fur. Don't go for the real thing. Because animals suffer for it. Many people don't know this, but polygamy is actually common in nature. As well as adultery. I know some people don't want to believe this. The song explains how leather is made, in pretty explicit detail. The details, how they detail it is pretty explicit, if you understand the lyrics. Because all that death metal is, it's nothing but growling. monster playing a Slayer song. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Despite the name Cannibal Corpse, the drummer is actually a vegetarian, ironically enough. Ironically, though, even though the lyrics are about zombies killing and eating people, the drummer is actually vegetarian. Ironically enough, even though the, much of their music is about Zombies killing and eating people? The drummer is actually a vegetarian. Ironically enough. <laughs> a death metal band about killing and eating people with a vegetarian drummer.
No, uh, cannibal corpse. Two guitar players, like with one of them, like one convict guitar player. Another one, maybe being a member of like another death metal band with a wide neck lead singer. And a vegetarian drummer. <laughs> Some. Uh, <clears throat> that's how far I might go towards roasting corpse grinder with neck jokes. Wide neck. <laughs> One nickname I have for Corpse Grinder is George Wide Neck Fisher. <laughs> because look at the size of his neck. <laughs> Before there was Charles Wide Neck Dion McDowell, we Corpse Grinder was a butt of neck jokes. Especially as as a death metal musician. <laughs> His giant neck is probably what's keeping death metal popular. Death metal's a good way for you to get a giant neck. <laughs> Especially if you headbang to death metal nonstop. <clears throat> Whether it be Angel of Death by Slayer, Hammer Smashed Face by Cannibal Corpse, God of Emptiness by Morbid Angel, Songs that talks about a zombie apocalypse is Kill or Become, aka Fire Up the Chainsaw. It's time now to fire up the chainsaw. <clears throat> or maybe, what about modern day Slipknot? Because they're probably starting to turn into death metal. Mm-mm. <clears throat> 
The song Hammer Smashed Face actually appeared in Ace Ventura's Pet Detective. Ace Ventura Pet Detective. <laughs> Most of the death metal fans are 90s kids. How? A lot of it has to do with Ace Ventura. Jim Carrey was the one who helped make death metal popular. metal on the rock, like, heavy metal is becoming more and more popular again. Angel of Death! Back in the early 2000s, Corpse Grinder actually performed with Monstrosity. Like, mm, Monstrosity actually performed with Cannibal Corpse Frontman for the drummer's birthday. One of the songs they played with Corpse Grinder as the vocal is Angel of Death. He nailed Slayer's songs pretty good. Ornery... I'm wondering if he could nail a song called Raining Blood. Angel of Death. Oh, sis, me and boy, where I want you to die.
Officers, may I pray to what I want you to die? Soldier, Mr. Curry, shall have the clarity of your life. Vader actually did. Uh, like, I'm talking about the band, not Darth Vader. Vader did a cover of Raining Blood 2. <laughs> If you don't know what Vader is, Vader is a Polish black, no, death metal band. Me a boy, do what I want you to die. That's death metal. Do you think I did pretty good with that death growl for Angel of Death by Slayer? Let me know in the comments down below. Cause you know, whenever I'm in a mood, I like to listen to death metal sometimes. This should be it for the series. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. I'll start next... ...series. ...the next vid evening video. As always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. This is Gaming with Dalston signing off. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And subscribe to my channel if you love my content. By the way, don't forget to smash the like button if you like the content. Dislike button if you disliked it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next series.